connecting the GoPro Hero 10 or the GoPro Hero 10 Blackbones to Android 12 uh, coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. As mentioned in the intro, today uh, we are going to try to solve a problem that has been plaguing a lot of people that just upgraded to Android 12 for the GoPro Heroes uh, and connecting them to the GoPro Hero Quick app. Uh, herein lies the problem. You can get it to connect via Bluetooth. Uh, you can get your GoPro to connect via Bluetooth, but you cannot get an, a uh, live preview on the screen because uh, it cannot establish the Wi-Fi connection. Now on the regular Hero 10, that's not a huge issue. Uh, you can connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot because you can look at the back of the screen and figure out what the Wi-Fi password is for the Hero 10. Now on the Hero 10 Blackbones, obviously no screen back here, no way to look it up, uh, or no way to look up what the Wi-Fi password is for this. All right, so first off, I'm gonna show you what the issue is. Uh, we'll go ahead and connect the uh, Hero 10 Blackbones. And be sure to check out the video up here about connecting the Hero 10 Black Bones with this cable that we made. Uh, help you connect it to all your drones if you're interested in doing that. All right, so we've got it connected. Let's go ahead and power it on. All right, so it is powered on. Let's go ahead and hit uh, control your GoPro. All right, and then you'll get this message, continue without a preview. We couldn't connect to your GoPro's Wi-Fi, but you can still contr uh, control your GoPro. So that means it's just connected via Bluetooth right now. So we hit, got it. Now I can go ahead and um, I can start recording. Hit the record button, and it is now recording. I can stop recording, I can change settings, I can do all that, but I cannot see a live preview. Now, why would a live preview be important? Uh, the biggest for me is uh, ND filters. When I put an ND filter on, I need to make sure that my settings uh, are going to be adjusted and getting me a correct picture uh, for the ND settings I have, or I'm sorry, for the exposure settings I have selected. Um, so you can hit this enable preview. And no matter what you do, you can try it, have it try again. You always come back to the same thing. Uh, you cannot connect to the Wi-Fi on the GoPro. All right, so the biggest thing that I've found to fix this is it is an app compatibility issue with Android 12. Current version as of the recording of this video is version 10.13.1. And what we need to go ahead and do is uninstall that current version. Um, and I will show you why here in a second. Let me go ahead and uninstall this. All right, so now that that's uninstalled, go ahead and check the link down below in the description. Um, I have a version of the app, so it's actually version 10.1 that will allow us to proceed further. Uh, so once you've downloaded that from the link, go ahead and install the app. And if you do not know how to do that, I will show you here just right now. Um, here is the file that we downloaded. Uh, just uh, go to your files uh, app and it'll say, do you want to install the app? We will go ahead and hit install. All right, it hasn't been installed. Let's go ahead and open it. All right, we just say, yep, I have a GoPro. Pair my GoPro, uh, connect a camera and while using the app. All right, now it's gonna go ahead and start scanning for our camera. Now in this case, um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the GoPro Blackbone, so I need to have the camera scan this QR code. All right, it has been scanned, and now we are connecting the Hero 10 Black. We will, whoops, sorry about that. We'll go ahead and hit the continue button. It is going to now go ahead and search for the camera. All right, it says we found your GoPro, go ahead and connect it. All 
All right, we can change the name if we want to. I'm going to leave it as what I had it before. All right, Hero 10 Black is ready. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and skip signing in for now. Um, we'll select Control Your GoPro. All right, and you'll get these uh, couple warning messages about some devices not supporting 4x3, 4K video, got it. All right, let's go control your GoPro from your phone. And let's go ahead and here's the magic moment, enable the preview. It'll tell us that it's gonna go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi. We don't need to show that again. We'll say, got it. Now it will go ahead and say it is searching for the device. And we will have to select connect there. And we have a preview. All right, and again, we can go, we can change modes. Uh, we can start and stop recording. I don't want to turn on that. Let's go back to video. Uh, we can start and stop recording. It is now recording. Obviously, your display goes away. This is normal uh, when you're recording. Uh, hit stop. All right, and it takes us back to our preview. So that really is it. Bottom line is get a compatible version. I hope GoPro is working on uh, fixing this compatibility issue, but for now, this is a good workaround that I found uh, works fairly flawlessly. Um, works, you obviously will after uninstalling your previous uh, version of the Quick App. If you have any GoPros paired to it, you will need to repair them just like we did in this procedure. So that's it. If you have any uh, questions, leave them down in the comments section below. I'll try to help you out. Um, as always, film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.